What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back for another episode of Forza Horizon 2. Now, in this episode, we are first going to be taking on the bucket list challenge for the Pagani Zonda Cinque, and I actually need to zoom in on it, there we go, just set a difficult, they're not difficult, the uh, waypoint to it, and we're going to be all get, going ahead and getting that out of the way, but um, I'm really, really excited to drive this car. This is one of the cars that at least for me, is just one of those cars that you have to have. Like, it's just one of those, one of those have-to-have-one cars. And, I, ooh, where are you going? Oh, yes. But, I mean, ever since the original Pagani Zonda, I mean, the original Pagani Zonda um, came out when I was, I can't even remember how old I was. I was really young when the first one came out, but um, even since the first version, oh, wow, that wheel offset looks wrong in the back. Show off near miss skills. All right. At the roundabout, take the second. But yeah, in the back, it needs spacers or something. Oops, I've gone the wrong way. I've go okay. Those roundabouts can be slightly confusing sometimes. I don't need to turn around. Thank you very much. There we go. I love how they say the suggested route, not the route, but the suggested route. Okay. Where are my near miss skills? But to be honest, I just fired up the game, so I'm 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 having to warm up again. And that's the thing, when you get out of Horizon 2, after you've been playing it for like, I don't know, three hours, four hours, five hours, what have you, it's it can kind of be, I don't know, you have to you definitely have to warm back up to it, just like you would with anything. But um once you get back into it, you're good to go. But the first like usually 10 to 15 minutes can be kind of shaky sometimes. I just need traffic. That's it. I just need traffic. I can't get near misses if there's no traffic. There we go. All right, near miss. Not in a near miss. I may have to retry this one. Hopefully not, though. That's a near miss. No, it's not, apparently. Damn, I, w I was within feet of him. Right there, and that's a near miss. That's for sure. This is long as whoa tractor. Oh that damn! Roundabout. Take the second exit. What exit? <laughs> what exit? I was gonna follow him and get another near miss, but I can't. In four hundred yards, turn right. You're starting to give me more traffic now. It's a little late, though. I know I kind of screwed it up in the beginning, to be honest. There we go. Yes, yes. One more. Give me one more car. Come on. One more car. Please. Please. One more car. No. 19 out of 20, and they wouldn't give me one more car. That was, I don't know, that's just one I feel cheated on a challenge like that. Even if, I mean, yes, it was kind of a warm-up, and I could have done a lot better in the beginning, but damn, they could have at least spawned one car. One car! So damn close, too. There's just something weird about how um, how far in that those rear wheels are, though. Take the second exit. Here's the first one. That wasn't going to be one anyway. I knew that wasn't going to be one because I was like, oh, yeah, we're kind of in like a uh, target line for that Jetta. Oh, there we go. Already 10. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Much better start than last time around. You guys can already see. You can see what I mean by once you get warmed up, you're much better off. Oh, I tried to go up another gear, but nope, we're topping out sixth. Gotta admit, this thing sounds incredible, though. And again, that's down to the... That's... I was about to say down to the Forza Horizon 2 sound design, but honestly, that's down to the sound design off across the whole Forza franchise. I mean, I know I always... that That's what it always comes back to, but jeez, just stay in that lane. Ah! 
There was more traffic here last time around. We only need five more. I was like, that better have counted. Whoa, okay. Oh, boy. Ugh. It's weird how some of the small trees are solid, some of them aren't. Last time there was some traffic up here. At least a little bit of it, anyway. In 400 yards. Oh, sweet. Okay, two cars back to back. Yes. 19 and 20! Done! And I, and I don't feel like I was cheated on the challenge like I was last time. Why did the AI just drive into the wall? That makes like zero sense. Absolutely zero. 375 XP away. That's, that's, about, that's just about as bad as having one more near miss to do and them not spawning another car for you. That's just about as bad as that. We've already got actually 315 roads out of... Uh, not 315. Like, 115, I think it was. I don't remember what it was, actually. I saw it for a second, and I was like, it's 100-something out of 315 roads discovered, so we're on our way. They really encourage that road discovery, though. As you move forward in the game, that, that is really encouraged, like, with the road trips and everything. Um, you pretty much, there's no way to kind of not do it, unless you just spend all your time in in one, uh, like, just one area of the game, which is highly unlikely if you want to actually, like, progress in the story. Now, let's see. What did I want to- Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Yes, we have the train challenge up next. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Honestly, when, when she's like, turn around when it is safe to do so, the way Horizon works, it's more like turn around when it is uns- when it is, is precisely unsafe to do so. So... Yeah, that never ends up being, uh, followed. Now I've got practice getting near misses, and that's like, that's all I'm doing now, is just racking up the near misses. Oh, yes! It's a little tense sometimes when you're right there. What?! Oh, okay, never mind, Grand National. Oop! Earned yourself a green wristband. Oh hell yes! Definitely works for me. I have not even touched this uh, train challenge yet, though. So this is definitely going to be a new one. I mean, it's it's going to be pretty similar to the planes, but um, it'll be. Oh yes! Oh yes! Let's see a Fulvia, I believe. Oh damn! That train is legit. Okay to cover than the train, but there is no better car for this course than the Fulvia. Yep, I was right. Lancia Fulvia, let's do this. Been wanting to drive this thing ever since I saw it in the garage. And go! Wow! The ratios are really, really close. And I love the interior, too. It's a gorgeous interior. God, this thing has so much character to it. It's so beautiful. And not only is it beautiful, but it also has a, like, a really classic sound to it. And as we're finding out, the handling isn't bad either. Really has a ton of front grip. The way it, the way it just pulls itself around, it's not... I mean, it's not torque steery, it's not understeery, and it's 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 interesting because as the front end pulls the car around, it'll almost let the rear out a little bit, and then you just correct it, and the car almost corrects itself half the time. It's a it's different to get used to if you're used to rear wheel drive, but great little car though. Love the smoke effects from the train. It's brilliant. You know what this actually takes me back to? Really takes me back to um, the. Horizon 1 uh, Rally, or like Rally DLC, absolutely takes me back to that, no doubt about it. Oh boy, oh boy, that's too much. Saved it though, slightly. Oh, we can cut here. That's when your navigator would say, um, oh god, what would he say? Hard left, cut, I think, I'm pretty sure.
But I love that. I love how you can kick the back end out a little bit and then pull the car back into place. It's really, really sweet. And it, it just feels right for the car. It just feels like something you should be able to do. It feels right. It's not... It's not like the car is kind of trying to force you into doing anything either. It's... You're in full control of it, but... It's, it also feels like it's giving you, like, just a little bit of a hand. And, yeah, that train has me in a straight line. You can't, uh, you can't argue that. It's a pretty damn aer aerodynamic train, to be quite honest with you guys. Ton of damn 90 degree turns. Ooh, that little handbrake initiation worked out exactly the way I wanted it to. You just initiate with the e-brake and then pull yourself around with the front end of the car. It's brilliant. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. And boom. That was entertaining. That was brilliant. The best race I've seen so far this summer. Really? I would think it would be one of uh, between cars rather than trains. Or, well, no. Between cars alone, but not a train versus a car. I just realized what I said. Because that is not a train race. That was just a car, <laughs> car versus train. Uh, no thanks on the rival front right now. Now, we should be getting a new road trip, I believe. At least if it, it's, if it, if it keeps following the same formula uh, that it's been following, then we'll most likely get a new road trip. Uh, actually, pretty much after the next screen loads. Which seemed like, ah, uh, yeah, it's ta which seems like it's taking longer than usual. I was ready for it to be... Uh, there we go. I was, like, ready for it to, to switch over. Guys, Innovative Leisure has just been added to the list of radio stations. Should be available now. We're seeing some of the first... Road Trip to the Festival. It didn't really give us an intro like it usually does. It just says Road Trip to the Festival, and it gives us, like... Twelve and a half minutes to do it. Turn left. Let me actually see where we're going. I want to see where we're going. Let's see. Um, oh, like literally back to back to the main festival. Oh, okay. In four hundred yards, turn left. Where's that XP board? There it is. There it is. There it is. Yes. Yards, turn left. Wow, there's just like so much free space out here. It's just like. Yeah, you can go here. Just kind of do whatever you want, you know. The, oh, that'd actually be a that that'd be a sweet corner to to drift. Oh, that'd be perfect for it, actually. Especially for anything like tandeming. I gotta get on that, actually. Or at least bring one of my drift cars out here because that is a corner I want to hit. Recalculating route. Yeah, we're confusing the GPS as usual. Oh God. I was not paying attention to that Audi. I was... In 400 yards, turn left. Oh, original mini! I want to use one of those online. Those were, those were so fun to use online in the first Horizon, because you could just mess with people so bad. And the, the only thing about it was that the original mini um, had a habit of making people rage quit. Because it was so, um, I, I don't want to say it was so good, but it was so annoying when people knew how to use it properly. Like, you could annoy the crap out of your opponents um, in, say, like, tag or something. When, when you knew how to use it properly, oh my god, you could destroy them. Jeez, F100. Getting in everybody's way, even that rough. Okay. Love these canyon roads, though. I mean, they're kind of canyon-ish. I mean, yeah, sure, they're not, like, going through massive canyons or anything, but it's still a really nice mountain road. It'd be kind of like, almost like a beginner difficulty, uh, toge stage. In 400 yards, turn right. Closing in on Custom Map Cinema as far as the road discovery goes. Turn right. 
funny thing is eventually we'll all like we'll all have um every single road discovered and it'll just never ever ever display that that uh that st st the statistic again it just, it just never even bother to come up again because there's no reason for it to come up bleh, back up again on the screen. Oh, SV. Oh, yes. Definitely going to be getting one of those in my garage at some point. It's on the list for sure. Okay. That C63 Black just kind of cut across the road. I was about to be like, what the hell are you doing? And brake. Oh, we didn't have to. We just had to drive there. All right, you made it. And now it's time to party before we head out for tomorrow's road trip. Sounds good to me. I wonder where we're heading, though. AI player zero. <laughs> yep, found it. Found it. They're not actually... Some of them aren't actually driving cars. AI player zero. Brilliant. AI player zero. To unlock the finale, win 12 more championships. Hell yeah, we're good to go on that. All right, well done. You've completed your first road trip of the summer. This makes you eligible to join a Horizon club. Clubs allow you to gather together with friends and like-minded racers to team up, compete, and earn rewards. Okay, select a club to join. Um, I'm going to make my own. <laughs> I was like, mm, yeah, we're not going to join one. We are going to make one because it is time. It's about time to do that. So, let's see. Um, we'll, we'll make it something that's easy for everybody to remember, everybody to get into. So, um, if you want to join up with my club in Horizon 2, it is going to be... TC97. That's it. That's all you guys have to do. TC97. That's the club name. And then, um, club tag. Uh, let's see. If you're looking for the club tag, it'll just be, um, TC9700 Gaming, as you guys know. Go ahead and get that entered in. I wish I had a keyboard for this. Actually, I have smart glass, so I could be using my phone at the moment, but I've got my controller in my hand, so... Alright, let's see. Worldwide, anybody's welcome. Um, and that's that's all good, too. Anybody's welcome to join this club. Um, anything goes, privacy's open, um, and the description... Um, I'll enter one later. You guys know, if you see the TC97 club, that you're good to go. Alright. So this is your club. You'll now earn greater rewards for completing races. Race with your clubmates for bigger bonuses. All right, now. Check your position on the club or, or not. You get a daily reward based on your current standings. Are you quite finished? Okay. Now, <laughs> um, this will also be very, very useful for uh, for getting open lobbies set up. And I do plan to do some of those in the future. I just want to get the whole game really worked out and figured out to make sure that it I don't just be like, hey, we're gonna have an open lobby and then not know what I'm doing and not know how to actually manage it with the new settings and stuff like that. So I want to get really comfortable with that. And then once I get really comfortable with that and we're good to go, then I will be hosting open lobbies and it will be a lot easier to get in if you're a member of the club. So again, if you guys want to join the club, feel free to do that. And I think that's where we'll end off this episode and we'll pick it up in the next episode. But if you guys enjoyed this, uh, this episode, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys.